welcome to this week's Maths and Science channel. What we're looking at this week is listing outcomes for combined events. It's working out the probability of more than one event. We're moving on from tossing a coin or rolling the dice. Theoretical probability is worked out from a list of outcomes. So what you have to do is a two-way table. And on this we'll put all of our little outcomes in here. We're going to look at quite a common exam question which is combining a dice and a spinner often letters from words and that kind of a thing. So the outcomes for our six-sided dice, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and for our five-sided spinner, a pentagonal spinner, one, two, three, four, and five. What we want to know is what the totals are going to be. So we're going to add up everything in our table. First of all, we have to fill this in. It's quite easy, really. Fill your columns down, and then your rows across. So in here, the first dice will always be one, 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 one. And a two, two, two. And then we just fill all these columns down. Three, 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 three. Four, 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 four. Some fives in here. And some sixes. And then our rows across. One, 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 one. A little comma in there. Twos. Threes. And some fours. And then our fives finish off. Five, 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 and five. So those are all of our outcomes. What we have to do now is add them together. So, have a little look on here. One and one would give us two. One and two gives us a total of three. One and three gives us a total of four. One and four gives us five. One and five gives us six. Now, if we add all these up, two and one is three. Two and two is four. So this is going two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. So our totals we've just got here, and you'll find a little pattern will form. So one and one is two, two and one is three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, six and one is seven. Two and two gives you four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, hopefully you can start to see the patterns, it's fairly obvious what's going on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lastly, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven there. Okay, so that's all of our outcomes, all of our totals. A six-sided dice, five-sided spinner. How many outcomes have we got all together? Six times five gives you thirty. Outcomes. So our probability is all going to be out of 30. Okay. So we want to look at here things like the probability of obtaining certain scores or scores that are more than other elements. So if I want to find out what the probability of scoring a 4, go to our table. Where are all the scores of 4? I've got one there, one there, and one there. So that was three fours, and we already said it was out of 30. So the probability of getting a four on this spinner and dice is three out of 30. We'll worry about simplifying these all at the end. Now, for example, if I want to find out the probability of more than, uh, say, five or more, What I need to look at now is all the scores of fives or more. So that's going to be all of these. Lots on there. So now I need to add all these up. So I've got. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23. So there's 24 altogether, and again, that was out of 30. So the probability of getting 5 or more is 24 out of 30. So, the way you do it, list your outcomes for each event at the side, put your columns down and your rows across, that's your total number of outcomes. Then we select our desired outcomes, so if we want probability of 4, one, two, three fours on there, so the probability is three out of 30.